Hi, this is Mike Piazza, catcher of the New York Mets. Hi, my He loved baseball more than he loved life. He was relentless, his attitude, his work ethic, every day, and he never gave up. Grand slam, Piazza! He's a guy who always liked to compete. He liked to compete to win. Mike's the type of guy that could uh, carry a team. Nothing would stop him from working. In the winter, we would shovel the cage out, and he'd hit for hours. He never wanted to stop. And I knew at that time we had something special. I didn't think I hit the ball as good as he does when I was 16. Right? Swing from here rather than going out and getting it, right? I give you more time, doesn't it? Huh? He looks good. This kid looks good. He said goodbye! The Mets have won it! It's actually one of the best stories in baseball history. 62nd round pick. Which meant there were over a thousand players drafted ahead of him. There wasn't a lot of hype around Mike when he first came up, but you started seeing the numbers that he was putting up in Los Angeles. He was maybe the brightest star in the game. The deal is in place that would send Gary Sheffield, Bobby Bonilla to Los Angeles for Mike Piazza. The trade unfolded almost in slow motion. Everybody knew the Marlins were going to flip him and move him as soon as possible. The Mets fans get to enjoy a New York style Piazza, the All Star catcher traded to the Mets. The fans are juiced about the arrival of the five time All Star. For a general manager, making a trade is rewarding. We knew that as soon as we announced that we were getting Mike Piazza, it was going to blow the world up. And, and it did in New York baseball. I heard the rumors, then we get traded to uh, Piazza and say, oh, I, I believe when I see him. There's come Mike up the tunnels so on Chase Stadium, so it's, it's through now. And it's a right drive base hit. We had a different uh, walk, a little different bounce in our step the day after he got there. This one hit the left field. Piazza has his first home run as a Met. We were excited that we were getting a superstar. He was a premium star of the game, and he was a Met. And a high fly ball, deep right center. This ball is oh! out there. How do you like that? This is unbelievable. Want to leave your seat when Mike was up because he could do something special. Fly ball, deep right field. This baby's over. Mets win. Mets win. He was a superhero. He was uh, something that uh, every team wanted. Drive in the air to deep right center field, and it's out of here. It's out of here. Mike Piazza ties the game. So difficult for a catcher to be the number one offensive threat, and that's why I always marvel about guys like Mike Piazza. What a show. Eight. Piazza rips it. Will it stay fair? Goodbye, home run! I'm Piazza! The blue collar, real baseball thing. There was a connection. The Mets are going to the World Series. Mostly because he was their guy. We were sitting at home and we had gotten a phone call that the New York Mets had dropped off some tickets at the firehouse where my father had worked at 288. So me, my mom, my brothers went to the game that night. You know, it was 10 days removed from, you know, the biggest tragedy in the last, you know, 50 years in this country. To play in New York was a big question. Should we do it? You didn't know what was gonna happen at any point in time, both in and out of the stadium. It was an unbelievable, intense environment. <laughs> And when we came together and saw a full house, it, it was just inevitable that something really special was happening. You know, first pitch kind of being like part of normal, so he's going to be back for a little while. Great game. 2-1, uh, I believe, late in the game. Bottom of the eighth inning, Ricardo Alfonso drew a walk. Piazza came up. But when he came up to bat, like so many at-bats in the past, you hoped that this was going to be the turning point of the game. Lopez wants it away. It seemed like time just stopped right there and uh, hits a ball that may not have landed yet. And it's hit deep to left center. Andrew Jones on the run. This one has a chance. Home run by Piazza and the Mets lead three to two. I think that home run was really a sign of everything is going to be normal again. And that home run unified New Yorkers. There was absolute confusion until Mike hit that ball and then there was an absolute clarity of what we were doing and why we were doing it. The answer takes a curtain call, as you say. Maybe this was meant to be. 
from Norristown, Pennsylvania, drafted in 1988 in the 62nd round. Today, he calls Cooperstown home. Michael Joseph Piazza. No fans rock the house like Mets fans. The thing I miss most is making you cheer. guy that worked his fanny off, the belief in what he was trying to accomplish. And New York Mets fans, man, that's all they belong. Well, you've accomplished on the field, I think you've accomplished even more off the field. I don't think you realize what you've done for the families, mine especially. The way he carried himself, personally, professionally, and the way that he represented the Mets, he was one of a kind. He always knew when he hit a home run because he would make those ugly faces after he finished his swing, like, it was just a pleasure having him as a teammate. Because when you're drafted after as many people before Mike, you got a lot of people who were on. Mike didn't just make it, he made it all the way to Cooperstown.